<clears throat> hey guys, it's Phil here from jailbreakitouch.com. Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak your iPhone 3G with the updated firmware 3.0. This is not the new 3GS as at the time of making this video it has yet to be jailbroken. So this is for the iPhone 3G with the software, the firmware 3.0. Uh, and the one that I'm using is a 16 gig. So you have to uh, go to jailbreakitouch.com and there's links there that I can show you where to download the Red Snow, which is developed by the dev team. They're the ones who will be doing all the jailbreaking and unlocking of the iPhones. Uh, this will also not have the unlock because they have yet to release the unlock for the 3G 3.0 software. So after you've downloaded your after you've downloaded your uh, Red Snow 0.7 you can see a screen that's going to say browse. You want to click the browse and you want to go to your iPhone software updates. Okay, so if you're on Windows, where you're going to go for that is your C drive, documents and settings, your name, application data, Apple computer, iTunes, iPhone software updates, and look for the firmware that says 12 underscore 3.07A341. That's the one you want. And click open. Red Snow will next tell you that it's processing the firmware. Once it's done processing, what it will do is it will tell you that it is uh, that it's okay. It takes a few moments, so if you're looking at your screen, you'll see that as well. It'll say the IPSW has uh, successfully identified. Click on Next, and when you click Next, it's going to tell you what you need to do for your phone. So keep in mind you're going to hold down the top power button, your home button. And the uh, home button and power button, and then your home button. So when you click next, be prepared to do this. So what it's going to be doing now, it says let's select what options you'd like to have. It'll say install Cydia. Click on next. Now the next stage this is what I was just referring to. It's going to say click only next when you when your device is both off and plugged in. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut my device off, and you'll see it going off here. And then I click on power off. Now the next stage is crucial. Get ready to grab your iPhone, hold down the top button. After a few seconds, it's going to tell you to hold down the top button plus the home button, and then it's going to tell you just to let go of the top button and hold the home button down. You can see that my iPhone is still shutting down. This process does take a while. You can see it's off there now. The process does take a while, so what I'll do is once it starts going, um, once, once the main screen comes up, I'm going to stop the video and then I'll come back when the rest of it's ready to go. So, ready to click on next. The countdown is on. Now, what will happen is it'll it'll identify your your computer, your sorry, your iPhone. It'll say um, that it's detected it. And now what it's doing is it's waiting for a reboot. Now you see the white screen. This is what is supposed to happen. The white screen is good. This is what you want to see. So your Red Snow saying waiting for a reboot, uploading third stage, waiting for a reboot again. It's uploading a logo, and now it's doing the RAM disk. So on your screen, you should see where it says uploading RAM disk, and it's going to be doing this for a little while. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'll come back once the next stage has started. So this takes about uh, about 10 minutes, if that. Okay, as I'm sure you're seeing on your Red Snow that it is just about done. A couple more bars left here. Once it's done uploading the RAM disk, it's going to start uh, installing kernels, or the kernel. Uploading device tree and uploading kernels, so this takes a little bit of time as well. Uh, so far, things should be going going well for jailbreaking. Now, a little, some little stuff here. This is your first time jailbreaking your iPhone 3.0, your iPhone 3G with the firmware 3.0. Some really cool things to install once you get into Cydia. 
Um, one of the greatest things uh, why the jailbreaking is awesome is it allows you to change the look of your iPhone. So you can put on, you can download an application called Winterboard, which I'll show you at the very end. And what Winterboard does, it allows you to change the theme, um, which is uh, which is pretty cool. So a couple things you want to install is Winterboard, one called a five dock icon. So what that does, it gives you five icons at the bottom of your docking station, which is pretty cool. There's one called Make It Mine. Uh, if you look, if you just everything's through Cydia. Make It Mine allows you to change the the name at the top. So instead of putting like Rogers or AT and T, you can change that to whatever you want. So as you see the up, as you see on your computer, the uploading kernel um, goes by relatively quick. And I do apologize for not having a dual screen this time. I just wanted to get this. Uh, I just wanted to get this video out. Most importantly, is seeing what's on the iPhone, not necessarily what's on the computer. So what it's doing now is going to be rebooting. It should say done. What you want to do is just click finish on your red snow. What your iPhone will do at the very bottom, as you can see, it is it is loading. So now it's going to be installing the the rest of the applications that need to run your jailbroken iPhone. So I'm just gonna let this run through. I'm not too sure what else I can talk about. Um, like I say the main thing for the for the iPhone is just making sure you have Winterboard, just so you can change the look of it. Now this, as I mentioned earlier on, this is not does not unlock your carrier. So whatever carrier you're with, uh, like I'm with Rogers, it will only work with Rogers. They're supposed to be releasing, the dev team is supposed to be releasing an application called Ultra Snow, which will allow you to unlock your phone. They will be coming out eventually with the 3GS jailbreak, but uh, they're still working on that. Alright, so now it's going to reboot. There are some cool new features to the uh, to the 3.0. One of the one of the coolest ones right now that I like is the, the search function. Okay, so so we'll slide to unlock it. Now the other really cool application you guys should get is this uh, Tweet Deck. For those who like to Twitter, uh, they have a Twitter application for the for the PC, and it's uh, it's a pretty pretty cool Twitter application, and they came out with one for the iPhone, it's pretty awesome. Okay, so this is the search function I was talking about. Actually up top. So that's it. That's uh, visit jailbreakitouch.com and uh, have some fun. Alright, talk to you guys later. Thanks. Bye.